Good evening. Homeowners in Saratoga Springs are shocked to see surveillance video that shows a man repeatedly trying to break into their home in the middle of the night. Yeah, the homeowner telling News Special Sandra Adams the guy was on his property for 30 minutes and now police are on the case. Sandra, what do you know? Well, according to investigators, not only did this guy try to break into the home multiple times, but he did break into a car across the street. The whole thing has left the homeowner perplexed, and he's wondering what in the world is this guy's deal. This was Sunday night. The discovery came the next day here when the homeowner went back to review his security cameras over a noise he thought he heard in the middle of the night. At first, I thought he was just somebody that went to the wrong house, tried the wrong door. Jake Loser says he couldn't believe what he watched. So he got in through our gate, came in, removed all the screens off of our back windows, tried to get in, couldn't do it. Multiple security cameras captured the stranger's visit, which was anything but quick. Then he went up to our RV pad, got into our trailer, undressed and uh, draped my daughter's blanket that was in the trailer over him. And when it apparently was too hard for the man to leave through another gate, he decided to linger even longer. So then he came back down, tried to get into the windows again, couldn't do it, then rounded back to our front door, and that's where the doorbell camera footage was. The doorbell camera gave the best view of the guy, but no further insight into why. From there, Saratoga Springs police tell KSL the man broke into a car across the street, stealing some belongings while leaving behind the blanket from Loser's trailer. So that's kind of the entirety of everything that happened from start to finish. Loser was just stunned by the amount of time the stranger was there. He's around our property for 30 minutes from start to finish. Raising even more questions about what the unknown man intended to do. So what is he trying to get into all these things for? What's the purpose? You know, it's very odd. Well, police tell us that they have some leads they're currently following. Loser says he has plenty of surveillance cameras, but might have been able to prevent the whole thing by simply having a lock on his side gate. He's encouraging others to do the simple and apparently necessary steps to protect their properties. Back to you. Yeah, pretty unnerving, especially the amount of time he spent there and trying to get inside. So, all right, Andrew Adams, live tonight. Andrew, thank you. Right now